This is a compact fluorescent light bulb that I bought on eBay recently. It came as part of um, a studio lighting kit um, and it has a nominal rating of, as you can see on there, 135 watts. Um, it has a colour rating of 5500K which makes it about daylight, um, daylight temperature. And the idea is that you would use it in a softbox kind of situation for lighting um, videos such as this one. If you've never seen um, these studio lighting CFL bulbs before, they are absolutely enormous. Um, just for comparison, here's a typical household CFL bulb um, next to it with a rating of just 15 watts. So, um, like I said, this one came as um, a kit, you know, with a, with lighting stand and softbox and everything else. And 135 watts is a lot of light, so I thought this is really nice. Um, uh, but first of all, obviously, the thing when I received, when I received, it, I plugged it in, and um, it, it came on. Color temperature was good, looks good. Um, but it just didn't seem as bright as it ought to be. I could comfortably look at it, which you um, really shouldn't be able to do for 135 watts. It should be too bright to look at. So I got out my uh, watt meter and, um, and I measured the output of this light. So this is the light actually lighting this scene and plugged in through this uh, little uh, mains um, current consumption meter that I bought. And as you can see, my mains uh, voltage is 239 volts, which is um, very close to the rated 240. It actually varies depending on the demand. Uh, yesterday in the evening, for example, when it's a uh, lot of demand around this area, it's showing 233. 239 is pretty close to uh, the you know, nominal 240 that we say we deliver in the UK. So let's just page through to see what this light is actually drawing. I go hit the value button. 225 milliamps. Uh oh, that should set off a few alarm bells to begin with. That's the maximum over time, so 230 was the most it's ever taken while it's been switched on for this two and a half minute time. And there's the wattage, 29 for a 135 watt bulb. That's not even close. That's just so far off, it's not even funny. It's clearly a con. This, this light bulb is not, it's not just uh, faulty, it's mislabeled on purpose to try and con you into thinking you bought a 135 watt bulb and they actually send you one that's barely 30. Uh, it's just an absolute rip off, it's ridiculous. Let's just page through to see what else we've got here. 29.5 is the most it's ever drawn. You can see it's been on for three minutes. Um, these bulbs will change their, their power consumption um, during the warm-up phase. This has been on for three minutes, which is well enough time to warm up. When I first switched it on, it, switched it, on, it was drawing 26. Now it's drawing 29.5 at most. It's not going to get any more than that, and it is not going to get to 135. See my main cycle there is 50 hertz, and that also shows duty cycle, I think. That shows it's roughly 50-50, and um, my mains is still 238. So as you can see, this bulb is a complete rip-off. I would advise anybody, just do not buy these bulbs. Um, and I'll just take it out of the socket again now, so we can compare it next to one that's actually a really good bulb. So here you can see um, a very good bulb compared to the rip-off here. This is an 80 watt bulb. It's advertised on eBay as 80 watts. And if you look out for the auction where you can see the seller actually uh, running it through a watt meter, you can see it like the one I've used, you can see it is drawing 80 watts. And I have of course tested this, you know, once bit and twice shine all that. And it really is 80 watts. So this is one you can trust. It's a good one. If you are looking out for um, an 80 watt bulb, it's the same one lighting this scene now. I've got two of them. Um, this is trustworthy. Now just look at the difference in build for a start. Here, for the obvious difference, number of windings on the coil here of um, the CFL tube, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the 80 watt bulb, one, two, three, four, five on this uh, so-called 135 watt bulb. There is no way that that, in my opinion, could ever put out 135 watts. It is not a 135 watt bulb, it is definitely a, built to be a lower one. Um, look at the difference in the cooling vents. The 80 watt one has a wide cooling area here to let the heat out because these do get hot. Obviously 80 watts worth of heat comes out of here. Look at the little skinny vents here. It's just completely insufficient for what uh, you know the claimed 135 watt output should be. Um, so in my view this is, is plainly just intended to rip you off. It's, trust, it's trusting you to just uh, you know buy it, plug it in and use it and not even think about um, whether it's correct or not and just, just you say, yeah, it's bright, it seems bright, yeah, fine, I'll trust it. Um, but it's not, you have been ripped off. So I'll just show you another view of the label again so you can um, get a good look at it and make sure that you are able to recognise these if you're browsing for bulbs on eBay. Now, I contacted a seller about this, obviously, and um, showed them a picture of my watt meter and this bulb on and, you know, the reading of 30 watts. And I was immediately offered uh, a fair refund. So I used the refund value to buy that pair of 80 watt bulbs that um, <clears throat> you saw earlier on. 
Um, that's so I'm happy. I got um, you know a pair of 80 watt bulbs and basically a free uh, 30 watt bulb uh, out of the bargain. Now the only way these these rip offs are going to stop on eBay, in my opinion, is if the sellers find them unprofitable to sell. So you know, if you may like to just go onto eBay, buy one of these things, um, knowing that you that you're getting a, a 30 watt bulb, and then plug it into a watt meter, complain to the seller, and eBay's money back guarantee. Um, will ensure that the seller has to refund you. And if you've got it from somewhere like China, where shipping to China from the West is very expensive, but it's basically free from China to the rest of the world because of the subsidies, um, they'll probably just send, send you your money back and let you keep the bulb. And that, that makes it unprofitable to them. And you've got a free bulb out of it. I mean, you may consider that controversial, um, but uh, frankly, I think ripping off a rip-off merchant is um, fair justice. So, you know, if you want, why not go out there and try and make it unprofitable for these sellers by, um, by buying these things and just then immediately complaining to eBay, justifiably, because you haven't got what you ordered. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed that, um, hopefully, informative video and you've learned a little bit more about these, um, well, rip-off items on eBay.